any phone in the Preheville area. You had a suspicion that your father had something to do with this. He had always been too obsessed with the blood magic, and you learned that there were too many rites that demanded the blood of your loved ones to work. There was no other way. You had to prepare for a trip back home to Preheville. I choose get something to read in order to collect the skin Bible. The Venushka skin Bible will be very useful towards the end game since it helps unlock some areas where you can collect an armor set that can protect your limbs from dismemberment, which will be useful going up against rare. How long has it been? It feels like it's been a lifetime since you left town. And we are not going to be skipping the intro. Marina falls asleep and has visions of a girl with blue moths. The girl runs away and Marina follows her. You feel like somebody was watching you while you slept. You see other people in the train car, Tanaka and Marco, but they don't wake up. Mike, Mike. some Shut pieces Mike. of luggage Shut in the train are searchable and have random loot drops that may or may not be very useful. Marina walks into the next train car. Searching the luggage, we find a bear trap. Bear traps are useful for disabling enemies before fighting them. And here we get lucky getting a shotgun. This will be useful by early access to the city. Since instead of getting a bolt right. cutter or both the keys, you can just shoot the lock. Mic check. Okay. All right, and we are live. Hi, how's it going? And welcome to my stream. Today, as you can see, we'll be playing Fear and Hunger, but I am doing what I'm what I've been calling a Karen Super Spy stream. Sorry, a Karen Super uh, Super Spy run. So, I'm basically just doing this because I thought it'd be fun. I am not going to be using any melee weapons. I'm not going to be using any magic. I'm going to try to do a solo run. I'm not sure how far how far I'm going to get today, but we'll see. Um, so solo, no magic, no attacks. I am allowed pipe bombs and unlimited. So I'm using a save editor for that and guns. The other thing I'll be trying to go for is using the persuade and diplomacy skill because I've never really used them much. So I'm trying to check out like other ways of beating the game other than just like straight melee damage. So I am still at the beginning of the game. I'm going for ending A first. I'm going to try to get as many people alive to the end. Um, but I reserve the right to take out Marcos, Tanaka, Marina, and who was the other one? So Marco's got the evade skill. Um, Tanaka's got tank. Tanaka's got five um, skills in his tree, and four of them are just defense. Marina's got engrave. Yeah, I think that's everything that I'm going to need. And I chose Corinne because I wanted the lockpick skill, and like I said, I want to see... I wanted to actually use the diplomacy and persuade skill. So that's kind of where the whole super spy meta is coming from. So pipe bombs, pipe bombs, guns, and negotiation. So, so you can see what I'm rocking with. I'm still at the very beginning of the game, but I edited the save file to give myself pipe bombs. They are a little bit more powerful than I thought, because I've only used them once. But now I can see why you have to get a skill that's not the easiest to get. And then get crafting mats that aren't the easiest to get. And you only get like a couple. Because like they are pretty powerful. Uh, so I'm expecting everything low level. I'm going to like one hit kill. Uh, I think a death mask will be a problem. Stitches I think might do okay. Um, and then the bosses might give me some trouble. So I think my main challenge is going to be uh, getting tank and defensive skills. So that's what I'm going for Marco, because I want the evasion skill. Because I can't increase how much damage I do. So I need to be able to, to make sure I can take hits from like the heartless one or percolate or rare. So 
All right, so let's start. So right now, I'm still in the slums. I am trying to get uh, the bone saw so that I can unlock her skill tree. Uh, and I'm also looking forward to skin Bible. So I'm going to go to the mayor's mansion to see if I can find uh, any of the skin Bibles there. Cause I don't, do I have a shotgun? I don't think I have a shotgun yet. No. Oh, and just for, just for the fun of it, I'm gonna be blowing up everything I see. Oh, and the name Frank Castle is me being dumb and forgetting that Frank Castle is the Punisher. Frank West is the protagonist of the Dead Rising series. Because uh, I didn't know this. That um, Corinne saying that uh, she's covered wars is a throwback to Dead Rising. Apparently that's something that the protagonist Frank West says at the in the uh, intro cinematic. But then when I uh, chose the name, I, I, I just, my brain farted on me and I went with Frank Castle, who's the, who's the Punisher, but seeing how I'm mostly using explosive and guns, that kind of, you know, that kind of works too. Okay, so I need soul stones and, give me a second, I want to make sure the chat's visible to me, because I'm still figuring out how to set all this up. There we go. So I'm still looking for a bone saw and soul stones. And I got the lock picking skill so I can always go through through the sewers. Oh, Archimedes is useful. I don't really use the potions too much, but I do use the uh, pet pills a lot. Hey, how's it going, Smorg? Thank you. It's uh, I think it's gonna. I think I underestimated how powerful the pipe bomb was because I, I didn't know it was gonna be like what hit one hit killing everything in the beginning. But the thing is that the pipe bomb delivers very dispersed damage. With like some bosses, you want to take out their limbs as fast as you can, so you want to like concentrate damage. So that's what the meat grinder is fantastic at. Which. I'll be having a video on the meat grinder run that I did over the weekend out probably like in the next week. Okay, occult grimoires. Oh, thank you, Rami. Okay, so I need to see how many heads do I have. None. Oh yeah, cause I still don't have the bone saw, but there's one right here. Okay. So now I'm going to go quickly get all the heads that are available to me and start getting some of the, like some of her other skills so persuasion and diplomacy. So I've done some math. Well, not really, but not accurate math, but you can get about 60 heads I think throughout the course of the game. So you you hear that sound the the using the bone saw sound a lot I'm also gonna save Henrik because I want the unlimited free food I think um there's like two more did I kill the vial already I did take out the woodsman before I went live when I was setting this up. I could have sworn there was some more dudes around here. Uh, there should be, I think, one female villager in here. Actually, you do. Uh, 
one bone saw is rarely enough because I think anytime you use a bone saw, there's a small percent chance that it will uh, that it's gonna break, which is which is just frustrating. But generally, like after a little bit, you you generally have enough bone saws that you know two or three should get you through the game. Okay, so that got me like three, like four hits. So now I'm gonna go to the slums and kill everybody there. As mean as that sounds. But I want to start seeing what the persuasion and diplomacy skills are. I mean, I know what they are, but like, how do they play? I think I should also run into Levi coming up here. It's... I had a lot, like, my favorite memory from Fear and Hunger is, uh... When I started playing Part 2, trying to figure out how to get into the city like slowly making your way into the slums, dying over and over again. And like the sense of general exploration, I had so much fun with it. And the sense of dread of like, what's everybody else gonna do? You know, what are you gonna find behind closed doors? Oh, the white vial, I, I read a very interesting theory that the white vial is just milk. It's a white fluid as in everybody's refrigerator that has fats and proteins that can like neutralize stuff so I just thought that was kind of interesting and it's the best explanation I have found so far actually do, let me get a cloth fragment oh wait that's only part one okay so I'm still going to the mayor's house I need there's a letter armor there and I want to talk to Henrik Also, I think Rancid and Sergo might be a problem with the pipe bomb. Because I think you're going to have to survive at least a few turns with him. Uh, search him. I think both the soldiers are called Joni. Because when you find, like, um, when you loot them and you read their diaries, I think they both say that they're called Joni. Oh, wait, I can't decapitate him. Okay, there's two more. Um, there's a gun in here. Hmm. I wonder if I can take down the door with a pipe bomb. Nope. That is a resilient wooden door. It's, yeah, especially the first one. The first Fear and Hunger is more like uh, edgelord type of stuff. I still like it, though. Okay, so loot the library, save Henrik. Give me volume two. I'm still hoping for a skin bible. Ah, uh, Sylvian. I want Almer or God of Fear and Hunger more than anything else. Mahavre. Here's a pocket cat. Okay, let's go find Henrik. I just think it's useful to have unlimited free food. <laughs> Yeah, that's, a, that's what I was thinking. Like, the problem with the pipe bomb is that it does a lot of damage, but it you can't concentrate it on one limb. So if you have, like, the meat grinder, you can do, like, three, four thousand damage on, on a limb at one, in one turn. And Hendrix, I guess he's alright. He, he is, like, one of the creep, creepier participants. He does have the um, food upgrades that give you buffs, but I've never really used them too much. 
Okay, so now I need to get the key, which is going to be past the priest. I'm just going to run by. Because if I'm going to fight him, I might as well get better armor. And there is a... I think it's a letter armor is down here always. Yeah, the minor key. There we go. Pl 18 to 24. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just easier to record with just a microphone because you don't have to worry about like the visuals or anything. But yes, I look, I am an adult male human. Okay, I don't... Eh, I can probably take him out. Okay, so 400 to 500 damage. Let's see. I should be able to get at least two attacks in, I think. So I think the first shark is going to attack. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that was simple enough. Awesome. So stone. And a head. So that puts me at around like five or six heads. So I should have almost everything I need to unlock Corinne's entire skill tree. Is there anything I absolutely have to do on day one? Oh yeah, so I need to get the, um, down to the food storage. And... I don't really need too much loot. But st I'm still hoping for good armor, like the Salmon Snake Ruin would be very useful. Or a small thing's amulet. Grab the milk. Uh, is there any chest down here? I think there's like something down here. Okay, now this is the room with the organ. No, if you snap him out of the spell, um, he will set up shop in the train. So first you have to snap him out of the of like he's in a trance, and then you, if you tell him where the food storage is, he'll move to the train, and he'll basically provide free food. No. No, the empty scrolls on only the first one. I wish I didn't die high enough to keep it. <laughs> oh, that happens when you uh, get this amazing drop and then, like, die before you can save. So, in this game, you can get unlimited mine if you get Dan to the bar, and then you can get unlimited food if you get... Henrik to the food storage. It's famous bohemian truffle. I do love truffles, truffle barbecue sauce. Yeah, part two is... I don't want to say a better design game, but it's more accessible. So there's a way to get unlimited magic, a way to get unlimited food. The only thing there's not is like a, like a nurse or like a medical character that gives you unlimited... Um... Oh, I forget he gives you the sewer keys. Um, a medical character that gives you unlimited health. Do I have lockpicking unlocks yet? Oh, I do not. Okay. Oh yeah, I need to craft my soul stones. Oh, I haven't offered them to... Uh... The tainted one yet. Oh, wait, that's not the... Is that the way up? No. No. Might as well loot. Yeah, so part one... What I really liked about part one is that it had a fake ending. You start the game thinking you are... Um... I don't know if Abella must die, but I think she doesn't spawn. Yeah, and this Jim Moon Scorch is pretty fast. Um, part 1 has a fake ending where you're led to believe the game is about rescuing the guard. Wait, where am I going? Uh, I'm going the wrong way. Um, and then you find out that Mahavra is there and there's like the second half of the game. Also, it's like new, the novelty. 
but part two is more accessible. The cast of characters is just awesome. Um, I also feel like part two is not done yet. I think we're gonna add. A, I think the creator is gonna add a lot over uh, to it to, over the next few years. Pep pills are amazing. Okay, so I got Henrik. And I looted the library, so now I'm gonna go to the slums to collect heads. And then I'm gonna offer all that to the tainted one, and I should have plenty of soul stones. I thought this the best dialogue. Yeah, I was thinking it's a, it's a fun meta. She's just gonna shoot things and blow things up. I should eat something. Uh, do I have moldy bread? So I didn't know it, but these guys leave you alone. Oh, okay. As long as you don't step on the glass or like walk up to them, they leave you alone. Yeah, I think Tanaka would be compelling, or even Caligura. I wonder, you know, if, they, if there's more to him than just being an awful piece of... Yeah, but there's going to be a, a patch coming out. So I did uh, the Meat Grinder run, because the Meat Grinder is getting nerfed along with Black Smog. <laughs> yeah, she's doing this for uh, in the name of journalism. Okay. Make sure I don't do anything silly. Like stepping on those things. Okay, there's like, I think like six to eight heads in these slums. And then I can start going to the city. I'm probably gonna have to uh, fast fo like, uh, forward time a little bit so I can make sure I get the encounter with Marcos. That's simple enough. And oh yeah, she does. That jacket does kind of look like Leon's jacket. I wouldn't be surprised if that was like a deliberate thing. I want if you get. I I'm trying to rem remember if you get 16 agility, can you use items twice per turn? Yeah, I think you can. So I, if I get the small things amulet and I kill Tanaka. I can lob two pipe bombs at a time, at a turn. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of fun going around just lobbing pipe grenades at everything. Right. It took me a long time to realize that... Oh wait, I don't need to go in there. That all these guys just standing around Moonscorch are really just a way to get more skills. Because they don't attack you, they say they don't really serve any purpose. But if you, if you take them all out and um, take their heads, you can get a, a lot of soul stones. Man, this game makes you a horrible person. No, like I kind of want like a futuristic fear and hunger, but I don't know. I think I think it's gonna be a while before there's a fear and hunger. Thing. Awesome, another bone saw. Cause like there's still areas, bosses, like you know, in, if you look in the game assets, you can find that there's um a moon scorch of Bella in the assets. I think there's a moon scorch Marco. There's no uh sorry, not moon scorch, uh, doppelganger. There's no Moon Scorch August or Pav. I think Moon Scorch, like, his Moon Scorching would be kind of interesting to see. Pav feels like there's still, like, an, that a lot more is going to be added to him with time.
there anything that can hurt me here? I think there's just some, some ghouls. But I am reaching the point where I'm going to have all the heads that I need. So these guys, the neighbors, and the apartment uh, are another great source of, like, uh, heads. And uh, there's the ghoul encampment in the sewers. Between all of them, you can get, like, 40 heads, which gets you a ton of uh, soul stones. the C Captain Rudimer, like, how he fell to the darkness. The only downside is that, uh, you know the, you know it's always, like, a bad ending. So maybe, like, a character around Captain Rudimer, like, that witnesses his downfall. I want to see, uh, I want to see, like, an escalation in the war between humanity and the old gods. I just think that's a awesome concept to explore. Yeah, I don't know, and I don't think there's ever, like, really a good lore explanation for, like... I mean, Sergo mentions the doppelgangers, but there's no real reason other than, like, the universe is acting kind of funky. And it just seems, like, really arbitrary who and who doesn't get a doppelganger, so... Ooh, it cracked. Yeah, so, see, like, at first I thought it was certain monsters you couldn't, um, saw off their heads. But apparently, it's just like a random chance, so it's always good to have a spare. Uh, this is a bunker. There is a treasure chest down there. So, oh yeah, meat pies. I think they're also expanding the cooking, which I'm kind of curious about. And they're adding a boss, I think. They're nerfing, obviously, the... Uh, Bone saw and gas, which is always useful to have. Oh, I don't have the the skill for Abella. Uh, okay, I think there's like a few more, and then I should be ready to head into the sewers. No, I need to pass time to get lock picking skill, and then I can head into the city, and probably encounter encounter Marco. Because Marco's got the evasion ability that I'm going to want. Needles might be a threat. I think he's going to be a challenge and the death mask. Because the death, like, their arms have like a thousand damage. So that might be like three pipe bombs. And that might be uh, enough time for him. Because I don't, I don't have anything to protect my limbs yet. So I'm going to be avoiding those guys, or trying to hit them with a shotgun. Okay, a couple of chests down here, and then I'm running back to the center of the slums. I think the heartless one is going to be pretty difficult with pipe bombs. But we shall see. Ooh, I was about to run into that. Just in case something pops out, I want to have full stamina. Okay. Okay, so I need to go to the basement and offer all this up to the tainted one, get my soul stones, and then I can get some sleep. And she should be in here.
16 heads. Oh, wow, nice. So that's uh, 16, that's 5, and I already had one. Who are the new gods? Uh, the same ones as the last times, or just some more, like the radiating one, the heartless one, the tainted one. They don't really expand on their lore too much, though. Okay. So now I need to go sleep. Let's make... Wait, did I make them? Or did I just... Okay. I got six of them, and there's a bed nearby. Yeah, but Lagarde... Lagarde's the Kaiser. Like, he's one of the final bosses in this one. Oh, no, don't, don't worry about it. Ooh, bio. Like, English isn't... I, I didn't speak English every day until I was in my late 20s. Into my, like, 20s. Okay, he survived a hit. Wow. I don't know, why not take a hit? Well, I guess if I'm passing time, I can... Hmm. I'm debating if I won't go get the keys or just go into the sewers. Wait, am I mixing up where... Yeah, I got mixed up. The save is back over here. Sorry, got to backtrack a little bit. It was in the, I think it's in the... Yeah, it's in this house that you can, like, rest in. I had to go back up, not across. Okay, I might get ambushed, but I'm not too sure I am. Do I want to kill Tanaka first? Yeah, I should go kill Tanaka. Have I killed him already? Because if I take him out, I can just get my plus one agility now. Oh, but I'm going to run into him when I see Marco. Uh, how far is it? Nah, I don't really, I, I don't absolutely need it yet, so I'll just find him when I find him. Okay, I crafted my soul stones, yeah. Oh wow, I, I'm not used to seeing nobody die. No time to waste on you. Okay, so I can... I can do... I'm not doing spells. Yeah, okay. So I can only do Karen spells. <laughs> so I was thinking about that. Here's the problem with Tanaka. You can kill him immediately. And he's got five skills. He's got agility plus one. So you get this and the small amulets. You can do double actions. And he's got attack and defense. And then you got magic defense and magic attack. And you saw how many heads I just got in the slums. So I have a surplus. If I killed him, I could get plus attack, plus agility, and defense. If I wanted to. So, it's just kind of... It's a perverse incentive. And he seems like... A, Tanaka seems cool. I want to know more of his story. I wish he was a playable character. But the game kind of incentivizes you to like... Because if you kill him and then run to Dr. Kiefer's shop... You got double actions right at the beginning of the game. Okay, so now I got lockpicking and diplomacy. And that's all I can get right now. Okay, so now I can start doing diplomacy and make my way into the city. Alright. So, easiest way into the sewers. 
It's not far from where Tanaka is. I should have gone for him. Okay. I do have to go activate the telescope station, though. So, I could try fighting the mayor. Uh, yeah, let's fight the mayor. Let's see what happens. I just saved, so why not be a little bit reckless? Because Henrik has it. Oh, the mayor's not available until the, um, the very last day because I saved Henrik. Okay, we're back to the sewers. And I can't get to the sewers via the latch because I don't have a better short circuit skill. <laughs> Hi, Pinchy. How's it going? I feel like we need more to eat if each of the runs were bad. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Tanaka. What did he do? Tanaka deserved better. Hello, thank you everybody for joining today. And hanging out on this. Today's what, Tuesday, yeah. Yeah, and I'll probably be using this footage to make a video sometime next couple weeks. But the next one coming out is uh, Bella and the Meat Grinder, which is... Is the meat grinder OP? It absolutely is. I was able to uh, beat every boss with just the Bella and the meat grinder. But you can stack a lot of skills, and it gets so if you have if you have the Spice Forge, it triggers a spell at the beginning of your turn, and that counts for a turn. Then you get Marina's Greater Occultism, and use the Spice Forge to autocast. So you autocast a spell. And then you immediately get three rep points. You burn those three, and if you have the uh, meat grinder, you get six attacks. So you start each ma each fight with seven actions. And yeah, it's pretty powerful. And then throw in the leechmonger ring, and you auto heal. I don't actually use these, but I like to collect them. Okay, this is where the Rifleman is, I think. Yeah. Taste the power. Just walk away and no one will get hurt. Oh, but I want his head though. I should at least try this once. Jubilee paints the grounds red. Why let anyone tell you what to do? Think for yourself. He's hesitating. Ah. Oh, that's lovely, Karen. Oh, uh, Corinne. Talk them, dissuade them. Oh, for uh, yeah, the black smog with the spice forge. If you auto cast it, it's like five mana, and it blinds. It has a chance of blinding everybody, and it hits every limb. So if you use that, plus you have the sixteen agility and like the meat grinder, you will absolutely destroy almost everything in the game. Oh, and I will eventually make a video of this. What I'm thinking is you can do New Game Plus. So when you beat the game, you take your save file and transfer your inventory to a Maso mode save file and then play the game again. Oh, that dog? Like which one? Oh, the, um, the Persuade. So K Corinne has a skill that lets her auto you. She uses talk before attacking. And then you can use the Persuade skill. Okay, so now, what's my next go? I got. I guess I might, might as well get the effigies. I need to go to Dr. Kiefer's. And I need to... Oh, I need to find Pav and Marco and Tanaka. Uh, let's see how this holds up against the neighbor creatures. I think there's one over here. Hello? There we go. Oh, rare's tough. Um, so for rare, the one thing you can do is have a Battel ring because the problem with rare is you can't buff yourself before his fight, and he will he will try to drain your your sanity. But if you have the Battel ring, your sanity will never drop to zero. That and you need uh, something that protects your limbs because the his what's it Moon Scorch attack can like can uh, dismember you. Yeah. 
If you have any questions, feel free to ask like on any of my videos. I, I should notice it. Persuade. You have to hear me out if there's any humanity left in you. The creature is tilting its head in confusion, trying to make sense of your words. I just realized how vicious Persuade plus Pipe Bomb is, because you're effectively talking them down and then lobbing a grenade at them. Small key. Oh, I don't really need that anymore. Hmm. Um. Shoot. Okay, so I'm just trying to get into the city. Preferably... Oh, I should also do the water treatment puzzle since I'm already down here. Just make my life easier. Uh, I think it's this way, actually. Pop on his first standard grading. <laughs> I will say, this is a fun build. A, a fun run to, uh... To do. I mean, I am cheating. Your persuasion efforts go to... Okay, so the persuasion doesn't, persuasion doesn't always work. It's not guaranteed. For anybody recently joining, I am doing what I'm calling a Super Spy Karin run. So no weapons, no melee weapons, no magic, only guns and pipe bombs. And I'm giving myself infinite pipe bombs. Is BGM at the washing machine? What's BGM? It's probably something obvious I should know. Oh, background music. Oh, what is wrong with me? I love the Mahabra thing. You will hear. I think I've used that piece in like friggin' ten of my videos now. Uh, there's a chest over here, I think. Chalk. You know what? I'm gonna use it. Use this. I need, I need to make sure I have a few of them because oh, that was that was fortunate. Yeah, I love the boss music in this game, the Gauntlet in Part One. I I just love the Gauntlet theme. Okay, so I need to go to the left, so it's, uh, what's the pattern? I think you flip one on the left. I think it's near and near. Yeah. The problem is that this unlocks... Basically, the sewer treatment puzzle divides the sewer into two parts. And you can only unlock it approaching from one direction. So you might as well. As soon as you get here. Uh, oh wait, no. Can't go across yet. The villagers are tough. Like, it, the only reason I figured out how to play Fear and Hunger is because I was unemployed at the time. And I just had hours to pour into this game and just beat my head against the villagers. And then I made my first Funger video, and then that fell down that rabbit hole. Because in spite of what they say about the labor market, I cannot seem to find a job. But that's okay, because I'm having fun doing this. Mahabra is a later area. Yeah, Mahabra is the second half of the game. Okay, so I'm in the city. I want to go to Dr. Kiefer's and get the... Start knocking out the effigies. Oh, and I need to go have the encounter with Pav, which exposes me to needles. Okay, I think there's a doppelganger up here, but it should be fine. <laughs> Dying from infection is infuriating. Especially in... Oh, oh, wait, okay. The hag is cackling at you. Is, is there anything I can do for you, ma'am? Okay, politeness. I can dig it. 
That's sweet. You can always give me a good rubbing. My back... Oh, okay, her back. I thought she was going to go in a different direction with that. My back has been aching for a good bit now. Don't be scared. Just come a little closer. Come closer. How do you persuade... How do you persuade someone who dwells in the deepest levels of madness? Uh, with a pipe bomb. You persuade him with a pipe bomb. I'm not gonna let that head go to waste. <laughs> no, I don't want to go near the rat hack. Nothing against her, but... I am Levi. You can actually run away from him pretty easily. But... For science, we must pipe bomb him. Just hold it. I'm sure we can find an understanding here. This game is horrifying. If it gives you nightmares, you are normal. If it didn't give you nightmares, that's more wearing, because why doesn't this game scare you? I just like... My wife made me realize I just like dark games. This this and like uh, Dark Souls are like my favorites. Okay, I think a, now I have a rifle and plenty of ammo. I want to do a Levi run. Like I, I played Levi when I was when I first played Fear and Hunger. I didn't really know the game very well. A pacifist. How would you do a pacifist run? So you would need like escape plan, I guess. Oh wait, how am I doing? Uh, I'm fine. Okay, I think this is the one that leads to the Prevo Bob. Uh, Prevo Bob has a shotgun, which is useful to have. One little silly thing I do is I always turn on... Oh, wait, I don't have any matches. Crap. I would say I always turn on these candles just because I like the ambiance. This, I, I love the Prehevo Bob. Like, the music is chill. It looks like a great place that you want to go after work, hang out with your friends and have a beer. Food's good if you convince yourself it is. Yeah, I've been trying to figure out, like, what is it about this game that's so mesmerizing? But there's a lot I can say about that. Something I've realized that I really like about Fear Hunger 2 is that all the characters are nice. There's only, of the 14 participants, there's only one of them that chooses to embrace the violence of the festival. All of them are nice, caring, and polite towards each other. Like... Why is why is Marco picking up a, a wheelchair for Olivia in the middle of the city? By giving rare a new... <laughs> like, Marco has absolutely no reason to help out Olivia, but yet he does. Okay. Uh, next. How many how many shillings do I have? Oh, I don't have enough for um, small things I'm in it. I can probably loot enough on the orphanage and um, get the small things amulet on the way back. Oh. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Bow your head in shame. Instead of condemning, why not educate me instead? Oh, that's, that's very nice. The will of all. Does Almer always have three L's? Because some here's A L L L. I thought it was just two. Infidels will be cut down without a chance for redemption. Control with fear, lead with violence. Wow. <laughs> Frank D's finally got some real firepower. Yeah, but see how I'm walking around lobbing guns, uh, lobbing bombs. You know, the Frank Castle name does kind of fit. Hi, bomb. <laughs> Sorry. The Mafia. <laughs> so, why did I just hear a bell? Oh, there's two of them here, yeah.
Ah, uh, arm guards. That's half of uh of the fluted armor. Come here. I can see why they limited how many uh pipe bombs they give you in the game. <laughs> That's my uh squishy sound dance. Okay. Uh, yeah, I might as well loot here. So, th there's just, like three locations around the city that I think are great areas where they could expand the game. This is one of them. Because here you can get all this alcohol, which is useful, don't get me wrong. But it's just this and this blue herb. And that's it. There's the hotel, which... And there's, there's like one or two apartment buildings that feel like they could be, like you could add content there, like add stories, uh, special encounters, special enemies. Also, I never noticed on the right hand side that car ad says Circle, like Rancid. Because I've seen the one on the left that's the part of this one. Ooh, awesome. Well, I was about to get one because there's a chainmail dress in the, the department store. Oh, well, why not? Let's see how this goes. <laughs> yeah, I am expecting the difficulty to ramp up in the second half of the game. Because um, the Belen, the Elite Trooper, I think might give me trouble. The Death Mask, Needles, the Mob, Sergo, the Heartless one, specifically the Heartless one. And I'm not sure the I'm not sure the bosses are gonna be a cakewalk. Or there, no, it's only I think there's three endings, but I've never gotten the sulfur god one. You ugly! What do you want? Staring at us like we're the freak. Oh, they talk. I apologize. Can we make amends? Money always. I'm not fucking paying. Sorry, Shane Curse. I'm not paying you. Oh yeah, actually, I do have some money. Take some pipe bomb. So there is the leechmonger ring here and the chainmail armor, but I don't. I already have the chainmail armor, and I can't use the leechmonger ring if I'm not attacking. So I'm just gonna skip all that. I don't have enough to buy anything at Kiefer's. I've played this game probably too much. If you have any questions, just go ahead and ask. Uh, I think there's some... So this is one of the places that I mean that, like... There's no major encounters, no, like, lore here. It feels... Oh, matches. Great. So I can now light the candles back at the bar. But there's, like... Nothing unique past a couple of containers that just give you some loot. I think in one of them you get ambushed. Um, so like, looks like whoever left here left in a hurry. It feels like that could be like, um, what's the word? Expanded upon. Like that, for example. The wasp, uh, what's it called? The beehive man? The wasp man? I forget what he's called. I hate fighting him though. Oh, I should go fight a pillar man. I wonder how they would do with the pipe bombs. Yes! Wait, rare. Rare will give me the goat? No, I don't really need rare actually. So I have the. I did. E Once I beat the game and I got both endings, I installed the Enlightenment, the, en the Book of Enlightenment, the Save Anytime mod. For the pipe bombs, I just edited, I just took a save file and just gave myself 99 pipe bombs. I haven't messed around with mods. Do you, like, do you recommend them? Like, are there any good ones? Like, you mentioned the, um, the Samurai mod. I should be able to one-shot him, too. 
You're dead. Wait, what happened here? What's this third? Die, die, die. Okay, that's simple enough. Yeah, so every now and then I think it's fun to do like a revenge run where you give yourself like a OP build just for to for once feel empowered, I guess. Yes, it's what you use to uh, summon the radiating one who is basically a merchant. The radiating one will trade uh, for rust pearls and you get those from the other world. From the Rontaos, the guys with the scissor hands. Uh, actually, yeah, I was going up that way. Let's go do the orphanage real quick. I got more pressing issues than you. I haven't been jumped by needles yet, and I haven't been jumped by the mob. I think both of them might give me trouble. But I'm, I'm trying to get some more armor and survivability before fighting the mob. Because they will definitely take me out. There's a... Oh yeah, let's fight a bobby. I haven't fought a bobby yet. Wait, artificial sow. What's that do? Oh, I think it increases magic, which I'm not using, so I'll leave that off. For justice and order, the voice of the Bobby is distorted and screechy, barely understandable. You have violated the martial law set by the high priest to the area of Preheville and its surroundings. The law broken. Everyone must stay indoors. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you for hanging out and like watching my videos and stuff. It's, it's been a lot of fun doing this stuff. The protocol to use lethal force. I wasn't aware of such laws. I'll do better next time. No, you are contaminated. There's no back anymore. Contaminated? You're one to talk. We govern with actions, not with ex Sounds unjust. I thought you were all about justice and order. Unjust. Unjust. He seems to be lost in his thoughts. Oh. Huh. Oh yeah, the centaur. We'll find out. Let's see if uh if I can pipe bomb him. Oh wait. I almost forgot. Okay. I can't break down doors, so I actually do have to like... Oh, but I got the lockpicking skill. Can I just... Nah. Uh, this shelf sometimes has... Can have a skin bible. Truth in our moonlight. So, one thing about the orphanage is that it's a good place to find shillings and skin bibles. It's just tedious to have to search everything. I am gonna have to like fight the ghosts because I don't think I can't hurt them. And I don't just want to like, die to them. Uh, I think there's a shelf in here. Yeah, I've got in skin bubbles here before. Oh, awesome. So that, now we got the blood portal. I hate having to fight the... The cherubs. Carobs, or how to pronounce them. Fun fact, can you shoot through the door? Oh, I got both of them. I don't feel I should celebrate that. Yeah, I love like the blood portal system because 
once you realize that like all the areas that have the blood portal is really just one large interconnected area you have the hexen table dan that can give you uh refill your mind and you have henrik so basically you kind of like develop like a safe spot a ghost sneaks up on me like that one right there yeah, how I am doing on uh, most most hungry and I'm okay with low mine I'm not really using spells do you have any more skin bibles for me no I almost fell in here <laughs> no okay ah almost ran into her I should have gotten Samurai skill. Oh, wait, no, I can't use spells, so it doesn't matter. It took me a while to realize that's the solution to the clock puzzle in the museum. Wait, so what am I here for? I'm here for the effigy, so I don't need to be up here. I'm not really trying... I'm not collecting the rust pearl, um, oh, what's it called? The rust colored pearls. So I'm going to fight one of the Rontials, but I'm just going to run from the rest. Well, I'll fight the ones that stop me from looting. If a lone Rontial keeps on clo keeps on closing in on you, if there's any humanity left in you, please hear me out. Maybe there was never any, there never was humanity here to begin with. Well, bye bomb. Ah, that's unexpected. Bye bomb. Okay, that was unexpected. Take the head though. Wobble one more step and you're dead. Your threats have no effect. It feels like the creature's mind works on another plane entirely. Okay, so it seems like it takes two hits to get to the torso. Well, might as well take the head. Oh, so to answer your question about what the uh, the portrait of the young man, uh, probably like a hundred. Uh, you you trade these rust colored pearls with the um, the tainted one, which you summon using the portrait of the young man. No, but I've played this game a bit mostly because of just like content creation. So I've beat it like five, six times now. And the game's not that long. Like, once you kind of, like, know where to go and what to do, you can beat in, like, four hours. I think there's one more chest, or did I skip it? Oh, well. Okay, got the first of the three effigies. So I still have to do the telescope stations. 
all three of them, and so that means finding Moonless. Moonless will probably take a few hits from the pipe bomb. Um, probably do that next, actually. Okay, let's take a quick break. I need to breathe up and fill up my beverage. I will be back in a few minutes. Hello and welcome to today's video, which will be a complete playthrough of Fear and Hunger 2 Ending A and Ending B with Marina. This video will also be a combination of Let's Play and Lore. My goal will be to show you as much as I can of the gameplay and the world that Fear and Hunger 2 takes place in. And I will also be explaining a lot of the lore, history, and gameplay mechanics as we go along. So why am I using Marina? Well, in my previous playthrough for Fear and Hunger 2, I used Marco and relied mostly on physical attacks. On this playthrough, I wanted to explore more of the magic system. Marina has the very powerful Engrave ability. She can start with one skin Bible and can also start off with some affinity for one of the old gods of your choosing. If Marina can get to Osa in day one and get his skills, she will become an extremely powerful magic user and at times will be able to even break the game. In the second half of the video, I will also be going up against the Heartless One and once having defeated her, I will be switching to using some physical attacks as we go for the Machine God and Rare. I am assuming you haven't seen any Fear Hunger videos, so I will probably also be dropping some Fear Hunger 1 lore and history. Okay, so starting off the game, we have to pick one of eight participants in the Festival of Termina who will be our protagonist. And this is Marina, and I choose regular difficulty for this playthrough. Regardless of what character you pick, the game will start with your character sitting on a train as it approaches Perheville. The game is set in a historical period that mirrors Europe in the 20th century, right at the end of the Second Great War. A war that was started by the Kaiser of Bremen and ended as soon as the Kaiser's forces were able to take Preheville. Here, Oh, really? Well, I figured, uh, need to, I should have something up while I, like, step away from the computer, so you don't just stare at, like, a blank screen or something. Okay, where was I? Okay, so we just got the effigy, so we got two more to go, so I'll probably get the white mode, uh, effigy, and then go to the Foundations of Decay. I also need to hit up Marco. Because I think uh, on day, afternoon day one, I think it's the encounter with Pav and Tanaka in front of the restaurant. And if you don't save them, Pav kills them, and then you can't get the souls. And then you get locked out of all those skills. So anything else I need from here? Nah. It's good to get up and stretch every now and then. Especially the odor you get. Okay, how many shillings do I have now? I have... 35. I'm still not... I still don't have enough to buy the small things amulet. Okay, well maybe I'll find one somewhere. You ugly, wish you want. I think it's unnerving that these things can talk. I 
Yeah, but the first game is the first game is straight up harder because it's uh it's balanced differently. It's meant to be far more punishing. So it's more unfair, is what I'd call it. But that could also be like a good thing for some people, the fact that it's so punishing and it does make some design some design decisions that are bad choices. That does lead to like a unique gaming experience. And it does contribute to the overall like oppressive feel of the game. Okay. Vico dogs. The other enemies that I just hate. I also don't want to spend too much time here because I, I don't want to have to. I'm going to save the game just in case it gets swarmed by the mob. I hate those guys. So I do have the Book of Enlightenment mod, but I just try not to use it. Like, more than, like, every half hour. But I hate the mob. If they spawn, I will fight them, though. Just to see. Oh, I don't have the sewer winch. Uh, is that it? Okay. Shit, there they are. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, that's not him. Okay, so that's just like one guy. Yeah, I was sack. Oh, and oh, you did a uh, terror and starvation. I like the Sylvan fight. Ah. Okay, so I need. I need a master key. Uh, just go straight up to the second. F I think. Wait, is there a chest down here? I think there's a chest. I think there is one here. I was wrong. Is it here? There we go. Okay, once I get the three effigies, I can go to the museum. Oh, I still need a skin Bible of Venushka. Ooh, I'm gonna have to hunt down some participants to get heads then. Do I have anybody's heads? I'm so curious why it has this like pattern that's also marked on the floor. Oh, I got to here too early. I forgot Dan has spawned yet. Oh well. Oh, do you happen to know which constellation? I'm kind of curious. Wait, no, it's over here. Something reeks down here. Okay, the washing machine puzzle, it's always a combination of 2, 6, 11, and 13. Oh wait, I need to actually like... Uh, diary... Plants, puppets, 
just moved in. Good girl. Holy shit. Okay. I did not think I would get it the first time. There's only so many combinations. It's 2, two, two 11, 13, and 6. And I think one of them is like more common than the other. I'm not 100% sure. Alright, so oh, no worries. Okay, so, uh, yeah, then you get to your side. Well, I could use some heads. <laughs> I can see why, you w why you'd find this background music unsettling, because it's very unsettling. I'm gonna do a super cut after this of just like a compilation of all the pipe bombs in like a minute or um, something like that. Okay. How many heads do I have? One, three, four, eight, nine, ten, thirteen. Okay, I got nearly 20 heads. Okay, let's finish this area up so we can get out of this music. No, 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 that's not what I was trying to do. Oh, that's gonna cost me. Oh, I was rushing. Oh, thank goodness for the mighty power of the pipe bomb. And let's heal up, in case I mess up again. I do need to get my mind back up, because if it does drop to zero, you do die. The one good thing about going solo is that you're gonna, because like, I think the game's balanced, assuming you will have people in your party. So it's, um, you just end up having a lot of like food. Okay, two refugees. So now, Marco, Pav, and Tanaka, and then we are going for... Not going for Moonless, but we're gonna have the encounter with Moonless. Ox is still alive, so we're not gonna... We're not gonna hurt the, the, the good girl too much, because Moonless is a sweetheart. Yay, shady vodka. Okay, uh, where's the, yeah, that's the exit. This entire, like, the otherworldly sections are very... I had a lot of fun playing through them the first time, but it did get my blood pressure up a lot. But that's a well-designed game, you know. I do kind of wish I could like forget everything I know about this game and play through it again. And there's only a few games I, I can say that about. Like this, Signalis, and Dark Souls. Okay, I got everything here. So next I continue south to the entrance of Preheville. Needles might make an appearance here.
Oh, I got I, oh, I got to save some lucky coins for uh the platoon. And I need to I need to find and kill some participants. So I'm also going to go to the bookstore and see if I can find my marina. Oh, awesome. Oh, wow, I just found three lucky coins. Uh, let me save some. Yay! Yay! I have a hat now. Okay, I am gonna save real quick here. Cause I got a lot of little moments I can mess up coming up, and I do want to try to beat the game today if I can. Tricked ya. Ha ha ha, I'm so clever. August? Okay, the same thing. The quarantine. I got more pressing issues than your stupid laws. So, depending on how much time we have, if if I have enough time, I want to do both. So I'll probably like save game, go for ending A, and then reload and go for ending B. Because honestly, like once you get everything for one ending, it's like the same just to go for both. And it's a it's a fun, I think, challenge because, you know, you get like the five fights. And they're all tough in like their own different way. Oh, wait. Have oh shit! All right, <laughs> needles. Live and let live. We are on the same page, right? <laughs> Laughing at you with exaggerated <laughs> gestures. <laughs> he is holding his stomach, laughing at you. Oh, I'm not surprised. I think he might be like take one or two. Oh, okay. I think I might have to go for Levi and take his head. Because I expected to find Marco, Tanaka, and Pav here. If Levi's here, I don't need him. But I could use his head to get the... Was it? The Venushka skin Bible. Do I not have that? I got, oh, shit. I only, I only have rare. Okay, I got armor and Sylvian. Oh, I'm sorry, Levi. Just hold it, I'm sure okay. I'm the one attacking though. Uh dear audience, I'm sorry to have to do this. <laughs> Even the door is stronger than the needles. <laughs> That's true, that was a sturdy door. What I really need is the head to because I need the I need three heads to trade with um Pocket Cat. We can get some wine here, which I don't really think I'm going to need, but... I think there's like a chest and a lucky coin out here now that I think of it. Okay, so let's go for the effigies, for the last effigy and the... Foundations of Decay. Oh, I need to stop at the bookstore too. See Marina and open the... Um, open the Blood Portal. I'm also going to get the Crow. So, I, I didn't know this, but you can fight the Tormented one in this game. Actually, it would be kind of fun to fight them with pipe bombs.
Okay, got a few more shillings. I think I need 40 or 50, I can't remember. For the uh, small things amulets. Okay, so this should take me to the uh, bookstore. But I want to take out that rifleman first. Nice, a blue vial. It's useful. Just walk away. I think. Now, I'm not sure. I think one, I think diplomacy allows persuade to trigger without talking. So I think I am using, and please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm, this is my first time using um, the persuade and diplomacy skill, but I think I am using it. I, I'm realizing that I don't think it stops the fight. I think it just buys you like a couple of turns. Marina here? Shit. Okay, I'm actually having a hard time fighting everybody else this time. But let me do myself a favor. Oh, I think actually we get, I think the encounter with Marco is on day two. Let me let me look that up real quick. I'm gonna double check when is it that Pav holds up Marco in front of the restaurant. Cause I, I thought it was the afternoon of the second day. He's, okay, when do you, location. Fast plan is Karen. Upon reaching the entrance or day one night, if he's still alive, you witness an exchange between the cat. Okay, if the hollow scene, if the hollow tower scene is not triggered before morning day two. Okay. So I need to wait till morning of day two for what I'm trying to do. I might as well just do that now. Because that way I get three more participant heads. And if I fight them, I get their souls, which would be very useful. Because I, I need Marcos and Tanakas. So it's afternoon, day one. Yeah, let's jump forward twice. I am indoors. But we are indoors, okay. Indoors must stay. Oh, okay, that's cool. I like that it acknowledged that we were actually indoors already and it can just use the bot. Okay, three more shilling. Uh, how many shilling am I up to? 41, so I'm... I can't remember if it's 40 or 50 that I need, but we'll get there. Uh. 
I'm sorry, Levi. Uh, do I want any of Levi's skills? How many? Oh, I have six. Uh, actually, why not? Because the one rule I'm t telling myself is that, uh, I'm, uh, I am allowed to use guns. Okay, so night one. So let's go downstairs and see if I can find Marina. Because I would like the engraved skill if possible. Oh. Sorry, Marina. You're in luck. This place is like a little sanctuary. Take a book. Take a seat. <laughs> if only there was an open bar and a fridge. Oh. I do. I, I still feel bad doing this, though. You can sense I mean no harm, right? Well, why did you attack me then? It makes no sense. I thought you were going to attack me. What? What are you going on about? This place is getting to my head. Well, do something for that head of yours then. Okay, so now I can get engraved. Engrave, and she also has greater occultism. Yeah, I think I just I can only use engrave from her tree. Cause rev points won't really matter because I can't attack. Okay, I don't think I think I still need to get or did I already get the Skin Bible of, of the God of Fear and Hunger. Oh, did I skip? Okay, I should have said that day too. Oh no, I don't have it yet. Okay, never mind. I like to get the um, God of Fear and Hunger because it gives you the agility. Hey, J hey, John, how's it going? Okay, so I need to go have the encounter with Marco, Pav, and Tanaka. Because I need heads. Ooh. Eee. No, no. Wait, I just saved the game, didn't I? Okay, let's do this and then I'm going to fight him. See if I can... Uh... If the pipe bombs will deliver me. I could just shoot him, but I want to try to, like, fight him. I don't want... I don't want confrontation. Please just let me pass. Listen, this... The death mask doesn't appear capable of speech or understanding. Oh, technically I don't need arms, so I can lose... Oh, I need the I need skin bible, so I need participant heads. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so he's I'm probably gonna lose a limb here. Okay, let's see if she lives. No, I think I think he's gonna get me. Okay, so I'm gonna hit him with the shotgun and then fight him. Cause I think the limit of his range is like Oh no, it was all the way. What the hell do I do now? Okay. Oh, I don't what if I take pep pills and get double action? Can I toss twice as many grenades? Agility, 20. Okay, let's see if this works. 
Oh. Oh, I didn't take those Pepco's for nothing. Yes, actually, I'm doing Darkwood after... Probably after this one. I might, depending on how my schedule goes, I might be streaming Darkwood tomorrow or Thursday. Because I want to do a full playthrough of that one. Okay, so, so this should be my regular turn. And then he gets an attack. And then I should get an extra attack and then my regular attack. Oh, and I have the arm guards so she can't dismember me. Oh, do I not get the extra attack? Oh. Yay, got him. Death mask. Let's heal up, because he took a bite out of me. Okay, h hunger's a bit low, too. Just have a meat pie. Oh. Wait. What happened? No, I don't get the souls. But I get the heads, but... I thought the encounter was day two morning. I don't know what I did. Oh well, we'll have to adapt and figure out some other way to get agility. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. There's a reason you're not supposed to have this many pipe bombs. I, I, I did a save game edit. So I basically have like, have I, oh yeah, I've already been out here. So I basically have unlimited uh, pipe bombs. Okay, so next is Foundations of Decay. Yeah, so um, as you can see, I edited the save and have, oh yeah, the Deathmaster is strong and it has good loot because if you beat him, you get the chainmail armor which is good for actually for most of the game really and the um the death mask which is good for uh spells wait foundations decay i need to go to the sewer and for the sewer i need to go back to the prehevo bop I don't think I have a sewer winch. Do I? No. But the path should be clear, unless the mob ambushes me. Oh, since I'm here, I'm going to go open the blood portal as well. So I don't have to walk back and forth so much. Um, I'm trying to think, of who's tougher, the Death Mask or Needles? They're kind of about the same, actually. Like, if you can take one out, you can kind of take the other one out, too. But they both have a lot more health, especially for their arms. But the Death Mask can do more, in more physical damage and will dismember you. I have the Arm Guards, that's what saved me. And... Needles has poison and the gun. So I don't know. I would say they kind of share the role of the crow modder. Oh, the death mask you think? Yeah, there's so I think there's like two death masks too uh, as well. Uh 
Oh, and I'm going to try to go up against the Ratkin. But I think they're probably going to... Between, like, there's five of them. And only one of me. So they can probably take out Karin in, like, one turn. So it's probably, like, suicide. But I think Moonless might be a little... Not easy, but doable. Because you can attack for a few turns. Before she can actually start attacking you. I think I need to... Oh, uh, this is the one you gotta... Oh, this is about right. Haha, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I have... If we can make it all the way to ending A today, but... Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, let me go turn off the water here. Okay, so turn this off. Oh, well, I hope work was... I hope work went all, all right, and thank you for coming to hang out. Yeah, I'm doing a series of on like different runs on Fear and Hunger. Uh, so this is a, a super spy Karin. So no melee weapons, no magic, only guns and pipe bombs, which I gave myself a lot of. And they're a lot stronger than I thought they, they'd be. But we're starting to get to the second half of the game, so I'm expecting the difficulty to ramp up a little bit. Before going to the Foundation Decay, let's take another break. I need to stretch a little bit. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Hello and welcome to today's video, which will be a complete playthrough of Fear and Hunger 2 Ending A and Ending B with Marina. This video will also be a combination of Let's Play and Lore. My goal will be to show you as much as I can of the gameplay and the world that Fear and Hunger 2 takes place in. And I will also be explaining a lot of the lore, history, and gameplay mechanics as we go along. So why am I using Marina? Well, in my previous playthrough for Fear and Hunger 2, I used Marco and relied mostly on physical attacks. On this playthrough, I wanted to explore more of the magic system. Marina has the very powerful engrave ability. She can start with one skin bible and can also start off with some affinity for one of the old gods of your choosing. If Marina can get to Osa in day one and get his skills, she will become an extremely powerful magic user and at times will be able to even break the game. In the second half of the video, I will also be going up against the Heartless One and once having defeated her, I will be switching to using some physical attacks as we go for the Machine God and Rare. I am assuming you haven't seen any Fear Hunger videos, so I will probably also be dropping some Fear Hunger 1 lore and history. Okay, so starting off the game, we have to pick one of eight participants in the Festival of Termina who will be our protagonist. And this is Marina, and I choose regular difficulty for this playthrough. Regardless. Alright, are you interested in playing Dark Souls? These games have great lore. I imagine 
you are that would do well. So I will be one hundred percent honest. One of my goals is to be able to successfully do Dark Souls material on this channel. So I just did my first like I started messing around with Elden Ring. Oh, that's a very good point, Jay. It is kind of relaxing. Let's take this moment and reflect on that. Um, but I I want to do Elden Ring. Uh, I have so I, just so you know my background on Dark Souls. I played the Demon Souls. I played Demon Souls on the PS3. I got about halfway through it, maybe three fourths. I've beaten Dark Souls one repeatedly, two, three. Beat I got to the last boss in Bloodborne. I got halfway through Sekiro, and I've beaten Elden Ring like three times. I should do something with that footage. Oh, thank you. So the thing about Elden Ring is that there's a photo mod, a photo, yeah, a photo, uh, like to take screenshots and stuff. But you have to set your Elden Ring client to never connect online. So I do want to be doing more, and I'm glad you guys said something, because it's a beautiful game. Um, there's a lot to explore. It's just elegant, and the lore is mesmerizing, and the game's visually very pretty. I kind of want to save up money and get a new computer, so I can do, like, higher resolutions, but... I'm glad you like the... I'm flattered you like the Elden Ring shorts. I'll, I will be doing more. Because, uh... Actually, if you go back on my channel and you look at, like, my very oldest videos, like the first ones, you'll see a couple of, uh... My wife and I playing Dark Souls... During the pandemic, that was something that we did was um, she's got her computer like right next to mine. So we would play Dark Souls together. It was a lot of fun. Like playing Dark Souls with your spouse is fun. I am going to fight the Rat King gang, but I'm going to save the game before because I'm expecting to get destroyed. Because uh, I think one person solo without like a heavy tank arm, like with like armor. So when I say that, I mean like the fluid armor, um, a leech monger ring, the pu or the pure, the hardened heart, the purified heart. Uh, might be kind of tough, but you can get a ton of food down here, and there should be a spot with a bunch of blue herbs. I think it might be further down, yeah. And if there's anything you want to see, let me know. I'm still, like, honestly, I've been doing YouTube for, like, a year and a half. I've been doing it full-time for, like, six months. Um, I'm I'm really doing paternity break. I've been, like, just helping out around the house a lot and hanging out with my, with my kid. Um, but I'm still kind of figuring out what I want to do with this channel and, like, what works. Um, and I think I'm just going to end up doing, like, dark fantasy games like this and... Um, the Souls games, because I, I want to get a PS5 and I want to do Demon Demon Souls too. Okay, let's save the game here. So I think I might... The problem is I only have one action per turn, so if I could attack once and heal once... I think I would have a chance with these guys. But the problem is that I'll be in a position where I'll attack once, they'll hit me. I'll heal, they'll attack again, and I'm dead. So, unless I get like a crit or something. Do I have... I don't have any more pet pills either. Okay, it's like, the pipe bomb doesn't work if you don't get to use it. Okay, well, let's go for Moonless and see if I can take her. Because if I can't get past Moonless... I can always just drop the Chandelier, because I don't really care about fighting the Heartless one, and I don't think I could really take her anyway. 
But we'll see. Okay, so let's see if I can hit him from here. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, let's see what happens if I use a gasoline canister. Oh, wait, I have to wait one more turn. Uh, I should have waited a turn for the gasoline tank. Let's see what these. Let's, let's see what this is. Thing is that Mundus has a lot of health. Okay, uh, let's see. Hmm. Okay, how much more healing items do I have? I don't think I have that many. See if I can like disable her legs or anything. Wow, 100% Dark Souls remastered. Dark Dark Souls One is an amazing game experience. Okay, I think she's got me. Okay, let's try that again. I'll do two pipe bombs and then do the gasoline canister. And if I get stuck and I can't progress, I will just switch the save game file to the better one and show you guys just how OP the uh, meat grinder is. Okay, so two pipe bombs. Okay, so pipe bomb again. Okay, now I throw a gasoline canister. Pipe bomb again. Okay, uh, pipe bomb again. Let's see if I'm getting close to doing anything. See, oh, scaleless thief. Oh man, like. The multiplayer, I had a lot, I, I think Dark Souls 1 is the game I've bought the most, because I bought it on PS3 like twice, PC, Switch, Xbox. Okay, so it looks like I'm a little bit stuck here. Because I don't think I'll be able to progress past Moonless. So I should probably go try to get more armor. Because I can get the effigies, because I can get the fluted armor without... Activating the, the the this telescope station. So I need to get the last effigy at the church, which I can do by dropping the chandelier, and then get the fluted armor. But for that, I would need the Vinushka skin Bible, which I have enough heads to get from um, Pocket Cat. And if I can get the how many heads do I have? I might need six heads because I need the skin bio for uh, the God of Fear and Hunger and... What's the other one? Actually, I think, yeah, that's the only one. Yeah. Oh, Venushka. I need a Venushka skin bio as well. So I got one, two, three. I got two Levi heads. 
I need one more participant hit. Okay. So next I want to go to Central Prehavel and make it to the Church of Almer. So Central Prehavel, I think it's the way up is, around, is on this side of the of the sewer sewer treatment plant. Yeah, so the problem I'm having is that basically I have no survivability. Oh, this crow right here, if you use this, uh, you can fight uh, the tormented one. That was easy enough. To get to the museum, I have to fight Sergal, which I'm also not sure I can beat. Unless I can persuade him and maybe give me a couple of turns. Because I think if I think I would need two pipe bombs to uh, two pipe bombs to take down Sergal or Rancid. Yeah. So the best thing about Dark Souls One is that it's unbalanced. So you can. Um, what you used to be able to do with the PvP is don't level up your souls level because that's how that's what they use to rank the matchmaking. Level up your weapons and armor. So if you did that, you would uh, basically be you just be overpowered for the people you're fighting. But Dark Souls One has the best interconnected world. It has like a, I don't know, there's a certain like lethargy and melancholy to that world to that world. Okay, I'm going to the Church of Almer, so this way. Have I not been up here? There's a chest up here, too. Oh, that's the King Yellow. Oh, shit. I did not know they could do that. I craft anything? Okay. So let's go get the last effigy. The Crimson Fodder shouldn't be too bad with the pipe bombs. I have a certain amount, but I can just give myself more by editing the save file. It's pretty fast, actually. But I like I've been playing for like two hours now, and I'm st I'm barely at like half. Actually, uh, I can probably get some uh, armor upgrade if I go down to this area. Cause there's an elite trooper down here, and he gives you the Bremen mask, which is a slight upgrade to what I'm using now. And there's some more loot, so maybe I'll gain enough shillings to buy the small things amulet. Okay. I am gonna save game because I'm not sure I can take the the Bremen the Bremen Elite Trooper. Because it was he cast defense, he's pretty tough, and I'm not sure I'll be able to inflict enough damage. Oh, but he is a humanoid type, so maybe I can like stall him for a turn or two. Yeah, so I'm I'm not recruiting anybody. I'm just trying to see if I can get to the end game using just pipe bombs and just one character for no particular reason. I just thought it'd be fun. Stay away, I mean no harm. Oh. Okay. So I still have 47. 
Oh, interesting. So it took the head, the legs. Uh, loses balance. Of See, does this hurt? Oh, awesome. It worked. Heads. There's a few loot containers. I think there's a lucky coin here too. Lucky coin. And the film reel. If you hold down a button though, the head cutting animation goes by a little bit faster. Rotten meat, lavender, egg. Oh, uh, well, red herb. That's that, that is useful. Okay, so Church of Almer. Oh, I'm gonna go fight one of the pillarmen just to see how they do against the pipe bombs. I'm not gonna fight Samory. Oh, so I also need the bolt cutters to cut down the um, the chandelier. And it'll probably be a lot more survivable once uh, once I have double action, because then you can use the extra action just to heal. And I think there's a uh, one loot container up here. You saw their head, <laughs> love his out. <laughs> yeah, you you do get a little desensitized, desensitized to it because you just hear it so many times. I think I've heard it like 30 times this run already. Um, bolt cutters first. So I'm expecting the pipe bombs to do okay against. Oh wait, must no. wait. Is this? Yeah. I'm expecting them to work against the uh, pillarmen because you're attacking the, all the abs at the same time. Choir of Ulmer, the Gospel of Agony. Doesn't you don't even get a chance to talk to him properly. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh Okay, let's try one more. I think I got like four of his abs. Okay, so now he gets one more attack and now he should suffocate. There we go. Cloth fragment. Does he have a head? Oh, I guess. No. Was that because of his head? Okay, so stop doing that. I don't. I don't recall what that does. Like I don't remember what's on that body. Let's go find out. What's in here? Pipe, okay. Oh! I completely forgot you could get that there. I don't really need it, but it doesn't hurt. Okay, so down here I need the effigy. Oh, 
Where do you think you're going? Can I loot? I guess not. Okay. Uh, I don't need to fight. I don't need to fight this Morphia. I should be able. To, I should do okay against this guy. You understand this creature is not from this world, but its, motiv but its motivations lie among humans, regardless of fuel intense lust for blood. This blood you want, right? I can arrange you some. Crimson Father is fixated on you. Nothing else seems to be able to satiate its curiosity and lust. Okay, so he might still mind control me, which I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. I should probably heal though. Okay, so these guys actually pose a little bit of a challenge. Okay, so I got an infection. Should be where the effigy is. Uh, is there any loot up here I want to get? No. right now oh yeah and these crates over here Time. Oh, don't shoot yourself, Karen. Okay, so one more pipe bomb, and I should be able to put him down. Okay, so those guys are definitely giving me trouble. So, I'll... But fortunately, I don't think I'll have to deal with them much more. Okay. Let's get out of here. Okay, so I got all three sigils, so now I can do Ransom. And the easiest way up there... Wait, how, um, wait, how do I go back up? Oh, the bookstore. How many shillings do I have? Okay, let's go see how much the um, oh, how much the 
small things amulet. I think I should have enough now to buy it. So I can I can attempt ending B now, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get like white with uh, the setup I have now. Well, this is easy enough. It's fifty. Oh, thank you. That's what you meant earlier. Okay. You know, for <laughs> this game would be weird if it had a. Uh... I saw you said it's fifty or oh god damn it. Uh, you say it was 50 earlier on, but I, I didn't make the connection. That's that's what you meant. That's 50 shillings. Okay, so there's no point in going back there right now. So, should I just... I could just go for Rancid. So I need to survive two turns, at least. I think there's a chance. Oh no worries. It's it's I should be paying more I should I should I should thought more I should think more better. Oh wait, not food. Okay, so let's so I need to go to the bookstore because I need to get to the church but from the street level. Yeah, okay. Because I'm still trying to get better armor. So I, I'm, I'm just kind of having some bad luck. Because if I had a few more shillings... Um, that would help out a lot. <laughs> hey, didn't I... I thought I killed this guy already. Ah, okay. Ah, I gotta stop... I was holding on A again. So if I've gotten Marco, I could have gotten the, the evasion skill, which would have definitely... Maybe I could have beaten Moonless with that, because uh, if I could have dodged a few more hits. Uh. And likewise with uh, the Rat King gang. So I'm de I think the I think the bottleneck is going to be survivability. Because with the Leechmonger ring and melee attacks, you're like... At least recuperating health. I could try to get a blood golem though. But I would need two affinity with Grogoroth. So I would need a Grogoroth skin Bible, which I can get with a pocket cap, but I have to get past Rancid for that. Hmm. Yeah, that's 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 what I was thinking, like, might be, like, the critical pieces. I need a bob and weave. But Pav killed Marco, so I didn't get the soul. So, I, I'm i locked out of uh, Marco's skills for this run. So, let's see if I can get the Venushka skin Bible. And the fluted armor, that would help. But also the engrave skill. Counter, oh yeah, counter is counter attack. If you, like, uh, you retaliate, right? If you take damage. I hate those. I don't want to fight them. Eee. 
Yeah. So if I have gotten if I got Tanaka and a few more shillings, then I could get the double action. Because then you can attack on your turn and then heal on the other one. No, so uh, I somehow... When I found Marco, he'd been shot by Pav. So I was able to get his head, but not his soul. And I was expecting to fight Pav and then fight Marco. So I could get all of their souls. But I don't know what I did wrong. It was the morning of the second day. Um, I must have gotten there too late or I missed some trigger or something. Okay, let's see if we can take down... I think I have like a 50, 50 chance. If, um, if I can't get them, I'll reload and uh, take the pet pills. Because if I can't get past him, then I'm kind of in a bind because I don't have enough damage to like progress through the game and I, I won't have enough damage to actually like improve my chances either okay but let's see if we can uh, talk him down a little bit I'm not a warrior so there's no challenge to be had here not a warrior With that much begging and pleading you're just a spineless worm no matter a warrior or a worm both both falter under my spear Let's get this over with fast then. He's trying to finish the fight fast now. Okay, so he's got the reckless trait, but I'm not sure what that does. Oh, uh, where's my pop -up? There we go. <laughs> you know what? Uh, thank you, Egg Somalit. It's, um,. The game cheating. The game did this to me. The game didn't want me to be happy. Okay, I think two pipe bombs should take out one of his limbs. I'll have to go on his legs, but I don't think that's going to end the fight. Oh. Am I going to kill him? I've never done that before. Ah, oh, the fight continues. Weak, weak, weak. Okay, let's heal up. Because it seems like we're actually holding out. Uh, Alright, let's see if I can just finish this. Ooh, no, he got me. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Lowers his stance. I don't know what that means. Oh yeah, I forget. I can use um the glass shards. I haven't been using that. Does glass shards work on Moonbus? I don't know. All right. Let's see the sunset. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I might have to restart the game. I'm not going to be able to do it in the stream. And uh, make sure I get Marco as soon as I can. We'll see. Okay, so this uh, health needs to recover. Need to make some more. I might be able to get a skin Bible at uh, Donovan's house. But I still need one participant head to get both the skin Bibles. Artificials already have one of those. I think this dude gives you a soul devouring amulet. I almost said soul devouring omelet. Which would be a very funky breakfast. <laughs> oh. Yeah, because I was kind of banking on 
Because I figured the bob and weave encounter plus uh, fluted armor. Ooh. Okay. You're in a very strategic spot blocking my waist, sir. A mage like you don't need to bother with nobodies like me. I'm not about flattery, please go on. You have greater understanding of the situation. What else? Your otherworldly powers are beyond anything I've seen before. And I've barely shown you anything yet. But enough enough, your flattery will get you nowhere but gray fast. It looks like your persuasion and flattery won't work on Osa. But where were the pipe bombs? Pipe bombs, they work on Osa. So Osa, does he give me anything that might change? He's got the greater meditation skill, but I don't think I'm going to get much mileage. Oh, but I got the head. Yes. Oh, and Nazra's head. That might actually help out a little bit, too. So now I can get Vinushka and double action. Okay, so I'm back in the game now. Uh, yeah, I want to equip Nasra because it's it, it's not super reliable, but it is useful. <laughs> yeah, he he. I tried flattery. I tried to be nice, but I just I, here I go pipe bombing again. Six shillings. Awesome, we got 50. Okay, so I might just be back in the game on this run. I don't know how I'm going to do against the bell ends, so... Okay, I'm intrigued. I'm going to... I'm starting to get a bit hungry, but I kind of want to see where this goes. So I can... Let's do... I can hold out and stream a while longer. Okay, taking a bio break. I'll be right back. will be a complete playthrough of Fear and Hunger 2 Ending A and Ending B with Marina. This video will also be a combination of Let's Play and Lore. My goal will be to show you as much as I can of the gameplay and the world that Fear and Hunger 2 takes place in. And I will also be explaining a lot of the lore, history, and gameplay mechanics as we go along. So why am I using Marina? Well, in my previous playthrough for Fear and Hunger 2, I used Marco and relied mostly on physical attacks. On this playthrough, I wanted to explore more of the magic system. Marina has the very powerful Engrave ability. She can start with one skin Bible and can also start off with some affinity for one of the old gods of your choosing. If Marina can get to Osa in day one and get his skills, she will become an extremely powerful magic user and at times will be able to even break the game. In the second half of the video, I will also be going up against the Heartless One and once having the... <laughs> yeah, I'm not touching that debate with a 10 foot pole. But I do like Osa, and he is a pretty powerful... The Spice Forge skill is hella powerful. Okay, um... I can't, I just saved it, so I kind of want to try to fight the bell and just see what happens. I'm trespassing your domain. Woof, woof. Hunkering up and down while holding the spear above his head. Body language seems that of aggravation. I will leave this domain if you just let me be. I measure you from head to toe. Chance to leave the area. 
Well, I didn't encounter him to run away, so let's see how he deals with a pipe bomb. Oh. Okay. I'm just taking the tip. Just the tip. Okay. Thorn ring. What does a thorn ring do? That's uh, I think it prevents bleeding. Oh, poison. Claw. Oil. Shotgun. <laughs> I do feel kind of bad that like you're trying to like talk people down before like just attacking them. Cause isn't like pre pretending to surrender and then attacking like a war like a war crime? Okay, I think there's a small chance you can get a skin bible here. So, Kaiser's rise to power. No. Pet pills. That's always useful. Helmet. Oh, did I equip the Bremen Elite one? Magic attack, magic defense. I'll go for just physical defense. Matches, bottle of beer. Okay, uh, do I have any skills? I get blood sword defense one. I don't think I need anything from Osha, so I would. Uh, yeah, there's nothing here that would help me. Engrave, nothing here that would help me. Okay, so there's nothing ready to unlock. So let's go get the skin Bibles and the fluted armor pieces. Why is Golden Gate up in the top right corner? I think it glitched out. Oh well. Okay, so... First, let's go get the armor pieces. It should be... S it's kind of hard to like nail down exactly where it is here, but I think it's... Okay, so one... I can get two of these, but I don't really need... I, like, I can't use any of them, but... I don't want to take that sword. No. No, I'm going to stick to the challenge. Yeah, I'm just going to... Take these. It's just on the offhand chance I find some use for them. Uh, okay, so I got the fluid armor. There's two pieces, so I still need the fold, or how you pronounce it. And th this one is a little bit trickier to find. It's like up to the right, I think. And then, then I have to go look for Pocket Cat. Guess the entrance. Okay, so Pocket Cat should be here. So I need the Venushka Skin Bible and God of Fear and Hunger. Sorry, this conversation is really long and I've read it like three times in the last two weeks, just like doing voiceovers. So I'm gonna... Nothing, okay, come on.
Lay my mind wander and my mouth slander. I don't know why I find that like a catchy phrase. He's a head salesman. I do like that. Okay, so six contestant heads, so I need Venushka to get the armor part in the mayor's mansion. And then God of Fear and Hunger for the engraved skill. Okay, so let's do the engraved skill. Okay. And I'm, I should be at 15, yeah, 15 agility. Okay, so now there is another area where there's an armor piece, because it's three pieces to get the fluted armor. It's nearby, but it's not like attached to where you get the first piece. Uh, and this museum is not exactly easy to navigate. Uh, no, this is where I came from. Uh, no. This should be where I already looted. Already looted that, so let's go up from here. Definitely already came down this way. Uh, is that it? No, damn it. <laughs> okay. Because there's two pieces of this armor in the museum, and the third one's in the mayor's house. Okay. Up here, maybe? Okay, this... There it is. Yes, so I'll be doing several different runs. Um, just as a challenge to myself, uh, I want I'm trying solo runs just to see if I like how good it, it, it makes you try to understand the game better. And what I'm doing with Corinne is that I gave myself, and this is just me being goofy, I gave myself pipe bombs. So where is it? Oh, I forgot I had the crow. Um, I'll probably pass them up. So what? So what I did? I gave myself ninety-nine pipe bombs. So the rules are: I get the pipe bombs, but I can't use magic attacks. I can't use. I can't use melee attacks. I can use guns and explosives, basically. And I'm trying to do completely solo. For no other reason, I'm just kind of curious if you can beat the game mostly just using pipe bombs. And then I chose guns because I thought it'd be kind of fun to do like a, like a super spy theme. Like, let's pretend Corinne was sent in and she's like James Bond. Okay, so I need to get to Dr. Kiefer's and the nearest uh, uh, the, the nearest blood portal is the Prehevel Bop. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's I'm kind of like taking an inspiration from like I've seen a lot of like Dark Souls. Can you beat Dark Souls only using this type of setup? So I thought it'd be kind of fun to do that with Fear and Hunger. So I did one with the meat grinder, which uh, I didn't do it. I did it offline. I, I didn't stream it with Abella. And wow, it's I might show you some of the gameplay footage at some point, but it is extremely overpowered. Uh, especially if you have the leechmonger ring. Okay, where was I going? Um, Prehevel Bop to go to Dr. <laughs> Physics. Uh, I have a... <laughs> yeah, if you look at my YouTube videos, you can see I was doing science and, fi a and astrophysics before I did gaming. Uh, but I'm a nerd. So my 
my I have a bachelor's in physics and a master's of applied physics. Uh, but I've always been like a gaming nerd. So and uh, I've worked in industry for a while as an engineer with like plasma and stuff. I like it. I'm a. I might still go back to school and get my PhD in physics, but I only have a master's for now. But I like it. I really like science. It was. I'm really glad I got the chance to study it academically. <laughs> Frankie Castle. Small. Is there anything else I could want? No. All right. Let's see how much that helps me out. So I don't really need a Battle Stone. Okay, so I got 20 agility. Now I need to go to the mayor's house. And to get to the mayor's house... Oh, I might have to walk. I don't, I don't think I got the Old Town portal. Yeah, science is cool. It's and you know it's useful. It's changes how you see the world. I think not to be too corny. Uh, what's the nearest one to the entrance of town? Oh, the Church of Almer. I can take the elevator to the slums. Okay, so, Mayor's house, I think it's, no, it's this way. Nope, no, it was that way. Oh, and I'm also going to try to fight the Tormented one. I think the idea of fighting Chambara with pipe bombs is kind of funny. Okay. Finding him yet. 30 severed hits. Yes, please. 30, that's 10 uh, so stones. Actually, let's fight the tormented one. I think I should be able to take him, especially now that I got two actions. So uh, I'm gonna have two actions per turn. I need to make sure I have enough healing materials. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I can. I. I need to get some fit, some skills. Okay, I got three. That should be enough. I saved. What I got? Equip. All right. So you offer the dead crow and you get Shambara. The thing is, you don't really get anything for this fight, though. Oh, I'm not sure. Ah, uh, the second one's more polished, but the first one's like the fun, you know, like the basis of the game. So it's kind of hard to say. I don't want to create any problems with the summoning. Um, I don't have enough skills. Because I wanted to get Tanaka and Marco, and that would have been like eight, like eight soul stones there. But now, I'm probably not even gonna end up using them all because like I don't have any skills. Because I'm not, I'm trying not to use spells. I mean, there's like a few like defense and 
Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to use them, really. Okay, so I should be able to at least survive a few turns, especially more if I can heal on my extra turn. Oh, he gets two attacks per arm. Okay, I should get an extra... Okay, there we go. Extra turn. So that's, uh... Okay, so I could attack twice if I wanted to. Yeah, it's hard to say, because, like, the first one is a good game, but it's... There are, like, some design choices that make it a little bit more, like, impenetrable. I might allow myself to get healing spells. Okay, so let's heal again. And bomb. So, one more should be a trick. And he can't punch me anymore. Yeah, and don't be afraid to, like, go online and look up, like... If you get too frustrated, like, the design is... Like, like it... it like, the game can be rough at times. So don't be afraid to, like, look up and, like, ask for help. Alright, so we got him. The downside to fighting him is you don't get anything. Like, he doesn't drop anything, it doesn't unlock anything, but... It's still cool at the fights in the, in the game, though. Okay, what was I doing? Uh, Mayor's House and Blood Portal. Wait, was the I think the mayor's house is above me right now. But it'd be cool if, like, you know, fighting Shambara gave you some more lore or something, but we'll see what happens over time. So... Is that priest still around? Oh well. Okay, so here I do uh, Venushka. <laughs> yeah, we're doing this for science. So that tree allows you to go down here. And now I can climb down to this other part of the basement. That's got the last piece of the fluid armor. Ring of still blood. Eh, I'll do more. So now, and these things, whatever they are. It almost looks like they have like an eye, but I don't know. Someone mentioned that they look a lot like Grogoros, uh, like the organ bags in the first game. Okay, so, uh... So the fluted armor, the reason I like it is because the defense is, is it's good. Like it's, wow, that's pretty good. The downside is that it drops your agility five. So if I had one more agility, so if I kill Tanaka, basically, <laughs> I would have 16 agility. I could have the armor and still have two turns. But it's kind of situational. Uh, you could also offset the loss of agility by using pep pills. So for like, when you go against uh, Perkele, for example. Oh wait, no, that's not the exit. Okay, so next I'm gonna go to the blood portal. Go unlock the blood portal here, and then I'm gonna go unlock the blood portal at the train, so I have them all. And then, I think I might... 
because I I'm I am starting to get a little hungry, so I might try to do ending B, because I can just sleep to the evening of the third game, and then just see how she holds up against uh, Perkele. Now that I have the armor in the two turns. Oh, it's faster if I go this way. Okay, so next I'm gonna run back to the train. Should be pr pretty quick. And then I'm gonna sleep to the third night and fight. Uh, go see if I can take down rare with just bombs. To go against the machine guy, I'll have to do all three telescope stations. I'm not sure I got the time for that. Before my stomach tells me to stop playing. I don't really need uh, any more heads. Because, like, as it was pointed out, like, I don't, I don't have anything I can sp uh, spend all these soul stones on. Okay. So, I already looted here. Hi, Olivia. Hope you're well. Henrik. Oh, great timing. Feed me. Okay, so what else can I do to make myself stronger? I think I'm running out of options. Yeah, I'm just gonna sleep until the third day and then just fight the moon scorch versions of everybody see and then if I manage to do all that I'll go for ending B so this is I got one two three four, four naps So that puts me at night of day two. Oh, Caligula kills Henry. I forgot. Okay, so this should be morning of day three. Okay, so two more. I want to make sure we get reveal. Uh, was rare. Okay, I might go open a portal with rare because I want to make sure I get a reveal aura. Just makes it hunting people down easier. Actually, I'm gonna get this defense plus one because. Gotta use these so stones, on, so stones on something. Okay, so what? This should still be daytime. So this should be day afternoon, day three. Yeah. Okay, so we got. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, that that makes that makes for an interesting end of stream. A bunch of moon scorch fights. Uh, yeah. So, let's see which one do I want to go for first. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go open a portal to rare, get affinity, and then get the reveal aura skill. But since I'm already up here, I might as well go hunt down a uh, moon scorch to Bella. See how well the pipe bombs do against the moon scorch form of the participants. So this I need rare. Okay. Now let's go fight. Oh, I forget what the Bella's moon scorch form is called. I know it's the elephant, but I forget what it's. I forgot. And I can throw two pipe bombs per turn, so I should stand a chance. <laughs> Forgot about these dogs. Uh, you must be in pain, poor thing. What can I do for you? A pet offend. <laughs> I like that. That definitely feels like overkill. Oh, here's something. Oh. Chognar, thank you. Here's something I only just recently discovered. I heard about this guy, but I never knew that... This... So this is the second... Uh... The second encounter with Sergo. The thing is, I blew off both of his arms, so I'm not sure how he's going to fight now. But let's let's find out. This puny little critter had posed no challenge. I'm looking for a champion of these lands. My bloodthirst. Because, like, I think normally you fight him, you take out one of his limbs, and then um, the next time you fight him, any damage you did the first time, he carries over to the second time. But I think I took out his legs and his arms. So I'm like, okay, you want to fight again? Sure. I accept your challenge. Rancid, man, come on, take the take the L. You ain't gonna be doing this. I mean, if you lose, <laughs> oh, thank you. I don't, I don't get told that often, but uh, it's like circle. I don't know what you're expecting to do here, man. Oh, and I can do two per turn. Am I just bombing this dude? <laughs> Have you tried throwing my pops? <laughs> yeah, this fight feels kind of one-sided, to be honest. That's what, five now? I can definitely make a quick video. Getting tired. I could do this all day. Anything you say, man. I'm sorry, this is kind of funny. I didn't expect this. It's what, seven? My god. Dude, you're using up like my entire reserve. There we go. Try to visualize that. This dude came at me with no limbs. <laughs> I bullied a disabled uh, Sergo. I'm oh, sorry, that was a funny encounter. Okay, now I got two Sergo Spears. You know what? I'm gonna let him have his head. I don't need it. I'll just beat him. Okay.
it was a bird, not a person. Uh. Okay, since I'm here, I might as well activate the telescope station too. Uh, there's a chest over here. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Was uh, tis but a scratch. But hey, at least you gotta give them points for uh, enthusiasm. I mean, coming at me with no, no limbs. I mean, limbs are useful, you know. That looks like somewhere she could bust out. I think she might also come out of like in the ad adjacent tunnel. Uh, gasoline's always useful. I think the only things you get here is like crafting materials, but I am about to uh, fight a Bella. Okay. Ah, there she is. Ah! I'm gonna save the game real quick. Normally I'd be happy with Bella's chasing me, but now if she's an man elephant. Mucus and slime drips from the trout of the creature as it creates a whistling sound. If there's any humanity left in you, please hear me out. It does look as if your words resonate with the creature just a little bit, or is it only your imagination? Let's find out. Pipe bomb. Okay, so we took out the legs. I got the extra turn. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, that went well. So why why do you think the Shrugnar is the most powerful one? Just out of curiosity. Uh, I don't need a head. I don't need shillings. Take the lucky coin. I do have to activate the gas generator. Oh wait, no, this way. So I do want to activate the teletrico teletroscope station. And then, then I'm good here, I'm done. <laughs> Yeah, two hits. That's that was faster than I thought it'd be. It's uh the power of the pipe bomb. You must believe in the pipe bomb. Uh, I can't open this. I don't need parts. I got a Bella so, but I don't think she has anything. Oh, I, I can use short circuit, but I don't really need any loot from down here. Oh, I, I gotta go fight the mayor, too. St still use that key. Do I need to go there? Uh, no. I mean, there's loot. Oh, wait, skin Bible. Is there anything on this shelf? Kaiser, Kaiser Critique. I have fought Moon School Reform in the mob. I forgot his name. Dan, Olivia. Who matched? Oh, okay. So, uh, the Shrugnar's the one that got you. Hey, no. I mean, that's that's still experience. Oh, okay, so I have to go out through the, through Rare's Dimension. Fortunately, this part's fast. Tomato. Here's a hot take or a controversial opinion. I don't care for turnips. Not my favorite. Tomato. I like I cook marinara pasta all the time, but turnips the consistency. I just eh, not for me. Now, if you enjoy turnips, I'm happy for you, but I do not share your joy. Of course, most people would say they don't find fear and hunger fun, so why? So it's not like I have a lot of moral high ground. 
Okay, so now I need to go fight the mayor. What's the fastest way? Yeah, this should be the fastest way there. In real life, I, I just don't care for the taste of turnips. It's, maybe I just haven't had turnips in the right, like, prepared right, you know? Okay, so Henrik... No, Henrik's already dead. So I need to warp to Donovan's house and use the Hexen in order to be able to get reveal aura so I can see where where the remaining participants are. Well, some people would say turnips are good, you know. I'd say give it a try, you never know. But don't get your hopes up high. Okay. So let's use the map. Okay, so we got one. Okay, Olivia's at the museum. Who's the church? Oh, uh, Dysmorphia is in the Church of Almer. Oh, and uh, Caligara, monster. Okay, so which one's easiest to get to? The Church of Almer. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Sorry, let me check that. Ah, phone, cooperate with me. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go for monster first, then dysmorphia, and then Olivia. Oh, you're right. The style is very much of Silent Hill too. Okay, so to get to the sewer, I'm gonna go to the bookstore. I'm actually gonna do uh um. I, I have an entire playthrough saved on my hard drive. I want to do like a commentary for Silent Hill 2. But definitely play it. It's short. If you if you look up the puzzles, you can beat it in like five hours. Uh, okay, no, I need to go to the manhole cover in the center of Pearl Hill. It's the other way. Easy. I don't have the Salmon Snake Ruin. I have the Fluted Armor, which kind of serves the same purpose. So I, I can become resistant to um, to uh, dismemberment attacks. I also have arm guards, which have been very useful so far. Monster is going to be an interesting fight because he has so many limbs. So I think he should be around here. Uh, what do I want to use for armor? No, yeah, I would rather have double actions, so I'm gonna, I'm not gonna use a fluid armor, and he's not a threat of dismemberment. Monster. I might have to uh. Exit out real quick and give myself more pipe bombs if I run out, but we'll see. Oh, okay, so you have to walk for to trigger the fight. <laughs> ah, Caligara. Never change. Burb, burb. Set the... You're, I just want to assault him. Did I strike a nerve? I've had enough of you. You're still body will ret the monster is clearly getting furious and reckless with his attacks okay let's see how he feels with a pipe bomb can you get to the bluff what's the bluff wow i took out all his arms Okay, so we're up to three so far. It's it's just it's a silly tactic to just lob two pipe pipe bombs per turn. Okay, so last one is Olivia. 
Okay, fastest way to the museum is get back to a portal. And then just teleport over there. <laughs> yeah, the thing with the censorship mods, sometimes you would, like, notice things that needed to be censored that you had no idea were, like, you know, adult material. Okay, uh, no, I'm going the wrong way. I need to go to the bookstore that's back over to the left. And then to the museum, and then I can attempt Percolet and Rare. Oh, wait, I'm sick. Where's my milk? There we go. I still have... Nine, so that should be enough for Olivia. Wait, wait, no. That's not what I'm doing. I would have killed myself there. Yeah, so in uh, in the comments of one of my videos, like I, I mentioned, I think, in the Marina playthrough video, that every refrigerator in Preheville has uh, a white vial. There's no lore. We have no idea what it is. But so Oh, I forgot about Pocket Hat. But someone mentioned that it might just be milk, because milk can, like, uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the milk theory. Um, that milk has a lot of fats and proteins that can neutralize, like, toxins and stuff uh, in your body. So, basically, I heard the theory that the white vials are just milk. So, kind of like how you know you can take milk if you eat something too spicy and burn yourself. Um, so, yeah, similar thing. I would fight him, but I didn't save the game. Can I fight him inside? Oh, well, we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna save game. This has been a while. Yeah, I mean, if anybody else has another theory, let me know. But that's my best guess. Is That's like the, <laughs> the milk theory, is what we're calling it now. But I just, it's just too consistent. You don't find the white vials anywhere else. It's just in every fridge in Preheville, there's a white vial. Okay, so now we're looking for Olivia. I, I think she should be pretty, I think she usually hangs out at the bottom, so it should be easy find. I am, mm, Okay, I am going to use a pep pill. And I am going to change my armor so she can take my legs. I don't need this anymore. I guess I can't really use anything else, so... Okay. And pep pill. So now I, my limbs are protected. <laughs> I am spreading your theory in my country. Go forth and tell the people about the healing powers of cow milk. Um, but if I, if I use the pep pills, it really increases your agility. I think for like a tr for one fight. Sorry, I got the cable stuck in my leg. Yeah, so I'm at 30 agility. Um, so that way I get the best of both worlds with Olivia. Oh, there she is. Don't look at me. I won't, just calm down. Don't look at me. Close your eyes. Your body, you cannot move. Oh. I was tricked. <coughs> Excuse me. Is that poison? The stage is engulfed. Okay. Extra turn, so let's start with some pipe bomb. Oh, thank you! I think that's like. I think that's my second ever uh, super thanks. Um, thank you, I'm. I appreciate it. I'm flattered. Makes me feel like a like a real YouTuber. <laughs> the 
Okay, so that's two pipe bombs. Okay, so we got the arms. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much, uh, Rami. I'm gonna try to pronounce the second part. La mia se I can't pronounce that, I'm sorry. But thank you very much, Rami. I appreciate it. And I'm very flattered. Yes, I actually closed my eyes when encountering a moon scorched monster. It was Olivia, you know. Maybe it's a good moon scorched monster. I need to heal. Oh, okay. Rest in peace, Olivia. And I think with that, I can go to the tower. So let's see if I can take Percola down. I don't think I'll, I don't think I'll be able to beat the game, but oh, I need more pipe bombs actually. I, I did not think I would actually use 99 pipe bombs in this game. Yeah, but I might actually be able to beat it. So okay, I need to heal, drink some more milk. Milk does a body good. Too much milk does not though. So, tr I suggest you drink a doctor-recommended amount of milk. Uh... No. Yeah, you're right. Dad might still be alive. Oh, and Dysmorphia. You're right. I got I still got Pocket Cat and Dysmorphia. Uh, do I have enough pipe bombs for that? Six. Okay, let's do this. Let's take a break, and I will come back with more pipe bombs. Okay, it'll take me a few. It'll take me a couple minutes, but it's actually pretty fast. So, BRB. Hello and welcome to today's video, which will be a complete playthrough of Fear and Hunger 2 Ending A and Ending B with Marina. This video will also be a combination of Let's Play and Lore. My goal will be to show you as much as I can of the gameplay and the world that Fear and Hunger 2 takes place in. And I will also be explaining a lot of the lore, history, and gameplay mechanics as we go along. So why am I using Marina? Well, in my previous playthrough for Fear Hunger 2, I used Marco and relied mostly on physical attacks. On this playthrough, I wanted to explore more of the magic system. Marina has the very powerful Engrave ability. She can start with one skin Bible and can also start off with some affinity for one of the old gods of your choosing. If Marina can get to Osa in day one and get his skills, she will become an extremely powerful magic user and at times will be able to even break the game. In the second half of the video, I will also be going up against the Heartless One and once having defeated her, I will be switching to using some physical attacks as we go for the Machine God and Rare. I am assuming you haven't seen any Fear Hunger videos, so I will probably also be dropping some Fear Hunger 1 lore and history. Okay, so starting off the game, we have to pick one of eight participants in the Festival of Termina who will be our protagonist. And this is Marina, and I choose regular difficulty for this playthrough. Regardless of what character you pick, the game will start with your character sitting on a train as it approaches Perheville. The game is set in a historical period that mirrors Europe in the 20th century, right at the end of the Second Great War, a war that was started by the Kaiser of Bremen and ended as soon as the Kaiser's forces were able to take Preheville. Here we get Marina's backstory. She was born into the Church of Almer, into a family that practiced the dark arts for many generations. A life of a dark priest is a cruel one even if modern times overlook the most archaic and ancient rites, a dark priest's life begins and ends in dedication to the old gods. There is no place for self in the church. 
Your mother had different plans for you. She didn't want you to go down the path that would befall every firstborn son in the church. So when she finally let your father know of your birth, she told him a daughter was born to the household. You were dressed accordingly. Your distant and often absent father didn't get a wind of the original nature of things, or he just denied what was in front of his face. In either case, the subject was never brought up. As you grew a little bit older, you didn't question this either. Everything felt natural this way, so who cares? You grew up at the churchyard in the city of Preheville. You started your religious studies at a fairly young age. You were given an option to choose which studies you would pursue, something completely unheard of if you had been a firstborn son of a dark priest. Studying the occult gives us the engraved skill, which will be useful to get our agility up later on. You proved out to have great talent as an occultist, and slowly even the holy city of the Vatican and their ministry of darkness heard about your feats. You were offered a scholarship at Vatican City to further educate yourself. You took the position without hesitation. Just the idea of... Okay, and I am... Oh, where's my drink? Be right back, I left my beverage on the, in the kitchen. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're back. Next, where we dropped off is we're hunting down all of the Moon Scorch participants, and we got Pocket Cat and Dysmorphia left. Both of which can, like, their main attacks are dismemberment, so Dysmorphia does hurting, and Pocket Cat does the whole asking you what limb to take off, so I'm not sure how this one's gonna play out. Because I have the armor that prevents limb loss, but I don't know if that actually protects me with Pocket Cat. But if he does, if I do lose limbs, I can just use um, what's it called the um, the ritual circles for Sylvian. So I magically somehow have 99 pipe bombs again. I edited the save. It's really easy, honestly. Um, you just go to a website, upload the save file. Uh, upload the items JSON file and then you can edit the values and then you just download it again Overwrite it in your steam file and load it back up But you know, I try not to use it because it kind of does kill the fun of the game because the fun of it is like figuring out the mechanics but Yeah, let's go. I'm hoping pocket cat is here because if he's not here I'm not sure where to find him Oh, so if you're gaming for long periods of time, if you can, invest in the stand sit desk. Your back will thank you eventually. But... Oh, I hope I, oh, I hope we can beat the game because, uh... I wasn't expecting to get to the end game, but now that we just got beat two more fights and then we can go for Percola... Because I think Rare will be easy. Because you can use a pipe bomb and take out all his eyes. The problem is the physical attacks. Hmm. Oh, we'll see. Oh, I didn't take a pet. Yes. Hello there. Yeah, deja vu. Familiar? Right, okay, this is new. Okay, this is where he talks about how stories change with generations. Okay. Um, I can still take the Peppa, but let's see. <laughs> let's see how he fares against just pipe bombs. I, since I didn't take the pet post, I only have one attack per turn, so... But I did just save it, so we'll, we'll see what happens. 
Is that a way to treat a fellow gentleman? Oh, behave. Pocket cat didn't expect you to bomb him. <laughs> I didn't expect that from the censorship mod. Okay. Uh, arm. Do I actually lose it? I don't think I actually lost the arm. Okay. So this might be... This might go alright. Oh, he's weak to this. Even better. Let's have a little one-to-one, -one, shall we? His secret suit, Frankie Castle, looks paralyzed. You do what you gotta do, Pocket Cat. <laughs> I have the fluted armor. So I don't think I'm actually... Yeah, I'm not losing any limbs. I am taking health damage, though. Alright, got him. Oh, the secret that he told you? Oh, I'm not sure. Your guess is as good as mine on that one. Okay, so I think there should be one... Yeah, this Morphia. So, the fastest way to her... Is... The bookstore. Ah, uh, uh, oh, probably what happened to her family. Like, I think, wasn't there something about, like, no one found, oh, no, the, the Kaiser killed her father, I think, is her backstory. Or his, the Kaiser rallied the mob, or, like, the, um, the group of people that, like, storm where her family. So if I had to guess, maybe something relating to her family and her background. Oh, that's true. She doesn't know that Dan. I think that would spook him too. So this Morphe, I think this Morphe is going to be pretty easy because she's not, she doesn't have super high HP. Her main thing is that she can cast Hurting, but I have Nazra's head and I can't lose any limbs. So I do take the magical damage. Actually, she does do magic damage. So I want the death mask since it has better defense. And then percolate, I don't know. Per oh yeah. I don't think if I take the pep pills, wait, where am I going? That's the wrong way. So go, go. Okay, um, she is in the inner little sanctum area. At least the background music here is not as jarring as in that other one. This sounds more like a mutant frog in the background. So there's a lore bit where Pocket Cat, it's kind of like a... Uh, it's an identity, it's not a person. So the old Pocket Cat, like passes it on, like the mask and the vest, and converts Dan into a, fur uh, into a furry, basically. So, there's a lot of pocket cats, there's just like, it passes on, down through time. I 
I think they're I think the next patch they're also changing how this morphia looks. Let's just talk this through. No harm no harm done yet. Talk. Talk. Why would you talk to me? Just look at me. What's so weird about wanting to talk? I do feel bad for this Morphia or Samurai. Like, she's weird, but... Eh, she's kind of sympathetic. This is just a trick, isn't it? Oh, she just wants someone to care about her. Maybe this pipe bomb will care. Like dread, like like the dread pi. Oh, is the dread pirate like passed down in the? Oh, cool. Nazar reflected the spell. Is the dread pirate robber like something that's like inherited as well? Oh, I forgot to take pep pills again. Well, if I die, I'll know I need it. In a way, because like the modern pocket cat wouldn't have been born, but he kind of remembers the events of the first fear hunger. So I think they do have some sort of like collective memory. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the Hexen table. Is there anything I want to unlock? I could try to get the Blood Golem. No, I don't think I'll need him though. Well, we're, we're gonna find out. Okay, so now I need to go to the portal here. Yeah, because I think the Kaiser would know about Pocket Cat, because he is a new god. But Pocket Cat's a servant of the old god, so... Yeah, I'm not sure on that one. I can't think of... It. Let's see if there's any skills that would be useful. Um, uh, okay, so, Olivia's tree, mm, no, unless I want to use the hemlock and cheese it. On Dan's tree, no, Samory's, actually, I will take these. And Abella's, no, okay, can't think of anything that, that would be useful for. So now, first I'm going to eat, because you don't want to fight a moon god on an empty stomach. And besides, I don't want to let all these meat pies go to waste. Your primal instincts tell you to run away. You feel dizzy this close to the, mono to the monolith. Your sight becomes blurry and you can hear your blood rush in your veins. So, let's take a pet pill. Oh wait, uh, equipment. Okay, yeah, the Batel Stone to prevent Rare from draining my sanity. And I need the Fluted Armor to prevent me from losing any limbs. The problem is will I be able to keep my health up? But we shall see. I don't know. Maybe I should. 
use the heroin. Because I think it gives you more attack. I think I should have some, because I did kill needles. I forget what the heroin, the heroin does. Oh, well, why not? I mean, she is about to see some crazy stuff, so... So what I'm hoping I can do is guard on the first turn, and then attack on the second. But I'm not sure that's going to work out, but we'll see. Peer pressure. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't laugh at that. Oh, okay. I should have been using the heroin, like, way long ago. Sword? I don't use a sword. I thought I won the festival. Oh, I didn't know I could persuade him. You did. Congratulations, sport of that. Just get past me and you will receive the heavenly gifts you yearn. How can I trust you after you keep moving the goalpost? Do you have a choice? You can always just die, too. <laughs> That's very persuasive. Um, I'm debating if I want to guard my first turn and take half damage. But let's see... Uh, if I can, with the heroin, if it, I can tank it. Okay, okay, this might work out. It looks like as long as I keep healing. So the... Hmm. Okay, maybe I'll have to try again with more, having crafted more uh, mixed herbs. Let's see. Yeah, he takes pipe bombs well. Okay, do I have any... Oh, I still have light blue vials. This is this is becoming a like a slug match. Like we're just like a turn-based face slapping tournament. Yeah, the, the pattern is evident. Oh no, what's the what's the word? Uh, a battle of attrition, where no one can really finish the other off. Yeah. Okay, got the legs. Once I pop his arm, is when it's... 
Is he doing more damage? Ah, ah, we might have a, an opening. I'm not gonna have any heating items after this. Yay, we got him. I think what's going to happen is I'm... So the problem now is I'm only going to have one turn. Because I don't have... The, the uh, pep pill buff anymore. So I won't have a chance to attack and heal. So I think what's going to happen is he's going to drain my health. Before I can do any significant damage to him. At least a good thing is I'll take out the eyes pretty fast. Did I not hit everything? <laughs> I like that image though, the idea of fighting a moon god with pipe bombs, just chucking them at the moon. Save, edit one in. Oh, oh, oh what? Okay, so far so good. I still have the heroin buff. Ah. <laughs> okay, let's try one more time, but I'm gonna craft more uh, heating items this time. Oh no, that's all I had. Oh, I can do this though. Okay, I got a few more, but... Uh, I don't think it's gonna be enough to turn the tide. But let's see. Okay, so I still need to do heroin. Okay, so I'm going to give it one more go, and then one way or the other, that'll be it for the stream today. I might, I'll, I'll be streaming again tomorrow at around the same time. I'm not sure I'll be doing Fear and Hunger again, or uh, Darkwood. But I might be trying this again, because if I get some affinity for Grogoroth, and I get a Blood Golem, I might be able to finish the run. So we're gonna do the ever so exciting fight with Perkele where we take turns and hurt each other. Alright, let's do this one more time. Seven pipe bombs 
that I needed. <laughs> yeah, she was pacing before uh, her encounter with the moon. I gotta say, how repetitive this fight is with pipe bombs is not the most exciting thing. But I am glad that we ended up doing this pipe bomb experiment. Okay, so now I need to use a light blue vial. There we go. Okay, so I think we, I think we need like three more or like two more. Oh, that arm came off first. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna heal up, but I'm gonna use one of the. Uh, You know what? I'm just gonna keep bombing. All right. So, pipe bomb versus the moon, round two. Uh, I don't have it. I could have gotten it, but does that work with the pipe bomb? I didn't actually test that. Cause if it did, I could probably beat them. But I just assumed that it didn't because it's not like an attack, but in like an item use. Let me know if I'm wrong, because that, that would be useful. But I don't think you heal when you use like the saw blade or ornamental lanterns on enemies. So why does it only seem like three things are taking place? Oh, okay. Yeah, so I guess it wouldn't help me out too much. Because after the do after doing the buzz saw run, the meat grinder run, I re you, like you really depend on that thing a lot. Oh, awesome. That's going to buy me some time. Come on, miss. Yes. All right, maybe luck is on our side, but it's still too early to tell. Let's see. got interesting. I just, I think that the pipe bomb might be nerfed because I'm only seeing like a couple of, oh wait, no, I took out the eyes already. Okay, so item, so got three. And I'm not sure how much damage I gotta do. Yeah, she actually does fight with her hands in her pocket. <laughs> yeah. 
It's like, Corinne, could you like try to make it seem like you're taking this fight seriously? Maybe she's just so good at fighting that she can, you know, fight with her hands or pockets. <laughs> Uh, no, I gotta keep full health because if he uses the lunar meteor, he can take me. He can take me out, and if I only have 50 health. Okay, so it looks like it's an attrition match again. Because uh, I might run out of healing materials before he runs out of health. Maybe she has. I mean, she's gotta keep the bomb somewhere, right? <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, reflect, reflect, reflect. Ah, uh, okay, that's not too bad. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I got the fire status effect. But I'm not sure how you get rid of that. Okay, last heal. Come on, miss. E, I'm not sure. I think I'm out. All right, this is it. I got like one or two turns. No, oh, okay. Ah, huh? ah, huh? one more chance. I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. Well, first of all, I want to say thank you to everybody for hanging out. This was a lot of fun. I might keep an eye out. I might. I'm going to be trying this again at some point. I don't know if on, on like on stream or not, but I think if I get the blood golem, I might be able to take rare down because I got in like 10 different pipe bomb hits. And if the blood golem can keep me alive a little bit longer and maybe with some ghouls, I think there's a chance, but it's pretty up to RNG. But this was fun. This was a sillier and a lot of fun. So thank you everybody for hanging out. Thank you for the super thanks. I'm I'm flattered. Um, and I'll probably be live streaming sometime tomorrow at around the same time. Either Fear, Hunger, or Darkwood. I'm not sure yet. But you guys have a great day. Thank you very much. And later.